Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have this little ETB right here. And inside of this ETB are all of the cards that I kind of put to the side. And these are cards that I do want to eventually send out to get graded. Some of these might never get graded, um, but I kind of just put these in here as, as like, uh, maybe who knows one day I might want to grade these cards. So let's open this up and we're going to go through this and select a few cards to send to get graded at managrading.com. If you guys haven't seen my first ever submission of cards to go get graded, make sure to go check that video out. I'll put a link up here. But with Mana Grading, if you guys like these slabs, which here's my slab of sauce kmr love this one right here and i love the look of these slabs uh so yeah if you guys like the look of these slabs as well don't forget to use code elite x at checkout that will get you guys 20 percent off of your order which is definitely a great deal but like i said i want to select a few more cards to send out to get graded so we're going to go ahead and do that today uh, but one, by the way, that's not in here that we're for sure going to be sending out to get graded is this Lugia V Alt Art. Um, I recently actually, I had already bought one of these. I sold that one and then I bought another one just because I think this one has a better chances of getting at least a gem mint 10, which one cool thing about mana grading is that if you just get a 10 on surfaces and edges, that will give you a gem mint 10 regardless of what grades you get for centering and corners. So... Uh, this card right here, I have looked at it. This is and edges look very good. The only real issue with this one is centering. But again, I'm mainly just hoping to get a gem mint 10. And I think we can get that with this card right here. So we're definitely going to be sending this one to get graded. That's one card right there. Um, uh, we're, we might send about eight card. No, you know what? Nine. Uh, but one kind of doesn't count. I'll mention that here in a bit. But uh, because I have already sent stuff to get graded with Mana, they sent me this card right here and I could get three free uh, grades just by doing these three things right here, which I already did. So three are going to be free and five are going to be additional cards to send to get graded. Um, I am going to be doing the faster shipping, so it's going to be $28 per card. But in addition to those eight cards and the reason that we're going to be sending nine is because I'm also going to be resending this one right here so that they can fix the error that they made right here where they put Naruto and Minato Uzumaki. Uh, this will be fixed to just say Naruto Uzumaki. Uh, they, we already talked, they already said that they would fix this for me. I just need to resend it back to them and just write a little note explaining what needs to be done with this lab. So, yep, that's gonna be the ninth one that we're sending. So let's go ahead and look through this and pick out uh, seven more cards. So here, Way Schwartz, we're not really gonna be sending those to get graded right now. In fact, I'm actually trying to sell this one. So not sending this one out to get graded, but who knows, if I can never sell this one, I might eventually send it to get graded because it actually looks to be in very good conditions. One thing I've noticed is that Japanese cards just their quality is really good and way Schwartz these are Japanese cards and yeah it looks it looks amazing so that one would definitely get a 10 maybe even a flawless 10 um, but here is a Pikachu and I really do want to send this one out to get graded so uh, let's quickly take a look at the condition of this card right here um, okay so edges look pretty good Let's take a look at the surface here. So far, I don't notice anything. If we turn it around to the back, the back looks very clean as well. So I think, well, hold up. You guys see that right there? This right here might cause us to not get a 10. So, and I just noticed a scratch as well here on the surface. Dang. So yeah, this one would definitely not be getting a 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one that I have in my binder because this is a duplicate. All right. So here's the one for my binder. This one definitely doesn't have a scratch there. Uh, let's take it out and take a little bit of a closer look to, at this one. Yeah, this one definitely looks cleaner. Don't see any scratches. Nope. And if we turn it around, no dings on any of the edges. Ah, oh, man. But we also have something right here, guys. 
So damn it. I'm gonna have to, I'm going to have to uh, like sell one of my other, one of these cards and try to get a good one. That will definitely bring me back a 10 because both of these, I have found issues with them that I think might prevent these from getting a 10. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this one in the binder. We're gonna sell the other one and then we're gonna try to buy another one. Hopefully that can get us a 10. So, yep, unfortunately we won't be sending this one this time around. All right, next up we are moving into Naruto Caillou. Um, I only have one of these, so we're definitely gonna be sending these to get graded. I've been wanting to grade uh, these for a while now. So here is the, uh, basically the Uchiha family. I guess she's known with Uchiha, Sasuke Uchiha. We have uh, Sakura, which I actually don't even know what her last name is, like before she got married to Sasuke. And then we got Sarada down here. So we'll, we'll have the uh, Naruto counterpart to this here in a bit, but let's just, I mean, I'm gonna send it to get graded regardless, but let's just go ahead and take a look at the condition here. Um, so off the bat, it looks like centering is a bit off, but we don't really care about that. As far as edges, I don't see anything wrong with the edges and the surface looks clean as well. This one's kind of a little bit harder to take a look at the uh, surface for some reason. I guess because it doesn't have like the nice texturing that the Pokemon cards have. Um, so yeah, I don't notice anything on the surface and edges to me look pretty good. If we turn it around. Okay, I don't see anything here on the back either. So yeah, this one might come back a 10, but I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, because I've heard that these have definitely lower quality control than the, the Naruto, but I know that the centering is definitely off, but everything else looks good to me. So hopefully we can get at least a Gym Mint 10 on this one. So yep, we're definitely gonna be sending this one out. Let me just go ahead and put this back in the top loader. Moving on, um, second try, we're gonna try to get a 10 on the Sasuke MR. So uh, let's take a look at the condition of this one here. This is the last one that I have. I actually pulled this one out of my binder. So right now there is a gap in my MRs just because I really wanna get a 10 on this card. This is my favorite Naruto Caillou card. So I definitely gotta try again. And we're trying again with the Sasuke that was in my binder, but um, surfaces on this one, I don't know, with Naruto Caillou, it's, I can't tell, I mean, to me, it looks good. Definitely looks pretty good to me. I don't see any scratches or anything. And then the edges, um, I mean, there's some, there's like a little thing right here, but that's more of a corner, right? Um, I don't know where they like start, stop considering it as an edge and then start considering it as a corner. Um, but there, I do see like a little ding right here. Maybe we can see it better from the back. Mm, not really, don't really notice anything on the back either. But all right, to me, this looks 10 worthy. So hopefully the AI considers it 10 worthy as well. We will go ahead and send this card out to get graded. That is two so far that we're gonna be sending out from here. Five more to go. All right, so here is the Naruto. You know, I'm not gonna lie, this one has a little bit of a bend to it, um, but I don't know what that, does that like, does that count against the edge because the edge is bent? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I do notice a little slight bend on this one. Um, but otherwise, the the surface looks pretty good. I don't see any scratches or anything. Same thing with the edges. Don't notice any dings or anything on the edges. Turning it around. Everything looks good on this side as well. So the only thing I'm, I'm noticing with this card is just that there's a little bit of a bend. So. Uh, like I said, I only have one of these and I don't know if I'm gonna get any more So we're just gonna go ahead and send this one to get graded um, Hopefully, I'm hoping we can get a 10 
All right, here's another card that I'm going to be trying to get a 10 on because this was actually the worst grade that I got the last time I submitted cards. I got, uh, what was it, a 8.5? I think this one got an 8.5, which was, yeah, my lowest score the last time I submitted cards. So I, I don't know what to look for here because I don't even understand why we got an 8.5 last time. Um, this one has a lot of nice texturing going on. Don't see any scratches or anything on the surface, which I believe the surface is what got, let, let's just go ahead and check. What, what did we get hit on last time? All right, so here's the 8.5. Okay, so actually surface was pretty good. Edges was good. It was just the corners that got us to the 8.5, but um, we don't really care about that. So yeah, surfaces and edges last time were pretty good as well. So uh, let's try to compare these edges with the one that I currently have. And the only thing I can notice here is that on the edges, there's like kind of like a little bit of curling going on where it kind of curls kind of towards me here. That's the only thing that I notice with the edges. And I don't notice that here. Nope, I don't think so at least. Shit, I don't know. So surface looks good. And last time for surface, we got a 9.5, almost a 10. What could we have gotten dinged on? Let's take a look at the back. Hopefully the back looks good. Cause I actually bought this one. I had to buy another single because I only had one. I only bought one UPC. So I bought this one as a single. So we do have like the corners. Yeah, the corners suck on all of these from everything that I've looked at. Corners always suck for, ah, oh, man, you know what? Wait, what was that? Nope, never mind. That might be all right. You know what though, right here on the back, I do notice that kind of same effect on the edges where it's where the edge is kind of starting to curve backwards. So I'm starting not to feel really good about this one. Shit. What should I do guys? Should I submit this one? Def let me know in the comment sections down below uh, from what you guys saw in this video. Does this one look tin worthy as far as edges and surfaces goes um to me i don't know that 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 issue right here might cause it to be like a 9.5 and that will just ruin everything so i don't know if i should submit this one guys let me know what you guys think for now i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the stack of stuff that we're not gonna send out to get graded all right next up is my the rarest card that i own I, yeah i think even between pokemon and naruto kayu this is the most the rarest and the most expensive card that I own. Um, as far as I know, these SCs range between like $500 to $700 and they are super hard to pull. I got super lucky pulling this. Unfortunately, this wasn't the SC that I was looking for. I was hoping for Sonate, but we're still gonna go ahead and send this one out to get graded. Um, as I think I, I did already look at the conditions and overall, this one looked very clean, very nice. So. I think we might have a good chance at getting possibly a 10, mint 10, maybe even a flawless 10. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And by the way, I didn't show this in the video, but I have number 622 out of 699. So wish me luck, guys. Hopefully we can get a 10, a flawless 10. This will be my first flawless 10. Uh, it seems to be my first worthy of a flawless 10. So. Let's see if I'm right, guys. Although I'm, I'm pretty on, I'm pretty sure that if I were to submit this one, I would get a flawless 10 on that one as well. But um, of the ones that we're sending so far, I'm most confident about this one right here. All right, we're gonna skip a few here. I don't think we're gonna be submitting add-in to get graded. Uh, don't wanna send these a first edition um, evolutions quite yet. I'm still not sure, like, I don't know if I want to submit these into uh, mana grading or not. I don't think they would get like a 10. Um, they're not in like perfect conditions. They are pretty older cards. So I don't know. For now, I'm just holding off on those, but maybe eventually at one point I will get them graded. Um, here is the other card from the Charizard UPC. Again, don't really feel the need to grade that one right now or this Umbreon, here's the, uh, this one is actually pretty nice, but here you can definitely tell that the edges are pretty bad. So um, I think this one might even come back worse than an 8.5. So uh, probably not worthy of sending to get graded that one right there. Uh, we got a bunch of Lucario V-Stars. Uh, these are all actually 
pretty in pretty bad conditions as well so i don't know if i will ever send one in to get graded but maybe if i ever get like a lucario statue or something at that point then i might consider sending one of these to get graded but for now i don't have any lucarios coming in what i do have though is a, a gengar family statue coming in from fantasy studios so we are definitely going to be sending this one in to get graded uh, let's put everything back in here and let's take a look at the condition of this one so I only have one of these, so we're gonna go ahead and just submit this one to get graded. Already though, even without taking it out, you can see that there is a little bit of an issue right here on this edge. So I don't think this one will come back a mint 10, but uh, for this one in particular, since it is gonna be going next to one of my statues that's coming very soon, we're gonna go ahead and just, hopefully we can at least get an, oh no. Nope, there is a huge dent right here on the forehead. Uh, this this is probably gonna come back at a, at a pretty bad score if I were to submit this one to get graded. Now I am debating if I should just get rid of this one and try to get another one. Uh, you know what guys, yeah, that looks pretty bad and it has actually another dent over here as well. I see another scratch, so we are not gonna submit this one in. I'm probably gonna try to sell this one and get another one because, yeah, I would like to get at least a nine, a 9.5 if I'm not gonna get a 10. And yeah, from what I saw, this might not be worthy of a nine. So, yep, we'll get rid of that one. Moving on, we got my boy Kisame. This is actually a duplicate BP. I don't have many duplicate BPs, but I was able to get this one for a pretty good deal. And when I did, I just decided, you know what? We're we're gonna go ahead and get one of these graded because Kisame is my favorite Akatsuki member and I love this card, so yeah. You know what though? I noticed this line right here. It looks like a scratch, but that might actually be the outline of like the shoulder of Kisame. I'm going to have to take out my the one that's in my binder and see if, if, if they both have that issue. No, you know what? I see another line over here. You guys see that? Let's take out my other Kisame and see if we also see those lines on that one. All right, here's the other Kisame. And yeah, we definitely don't have those lines. Wow. So yeah, this, this Kisame is just not in, in great condition. So we're gonna keep this one in the binder and we are probably gonna submit this one to get graded because this one looks very clean. Don't notice anything on the edges. Don't see any other scratches or any lines like we did with the other card. Man, just looking at this, it's such a beautiful card. Um, and then on the back, surface looks fine here as well. Ooh, there's a little dot right there. Crap. This one might not come back at 10, guys. Shit. Well, that's the only thing I, I noticed. And other than that, it's a very clean card. So we're still gonna go ahead and submit it and we'll see if the something that the AI picks up or not. So wish me luck on this one, guys. Definitely wish me luck on this one. All right, next up we got some Pokemon. Uh, we have not yet pulled any Pokemon cards to get graded. These are all Naruto so far. We got five cards for Naruto, zero Pokemon. Um, but yeah, these two don't really feel the need to grade any of these, even though they are nice cards. Um, maybe later if I ever get like a nice Pikachu statue or something, I might grade this one. Or if I get a shiny Charizard, I might grade that one. But right now, don't really feel the need, so we will skip that. But what I do see here is this Entei. This is from the Japanese set, the V-Star Universe. I actually pulled this from a free V-Star Universe box that I won on Whatnot. Um, but I did already pull the English version, so that's what I have in my binder uh, for the Crown Zenith set. But from what I've heard, guys, the uh, Japanese cards, the quality control is very good over there. So this one might have a good chance of getting a 10. I mean, it was pulled fresh from a pack, so everything should be pretty good for this one. I think this one might be a ch have a good chance of even getting a flawless so oh uh, maybe not there's a little weird some weird stuff right here on the edge dang it but 
You know what? We're gonna go ahead and submit this one. I do like Entei. I like all the dogs, the legendary dogs. Um, so maybe eventually I will try and get Suikun and, Suikun and Raiku in Japanese to get them all graded, hopefully as tens, but we'll, we'll see how this one does. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely be sending that one. That will be our first Pokemon card that we'll be sending out to get graded. All right, going in on this side, we have, oh, so I do need these three for, for my Team Daka statue. So we'll put these to the side. Let's kind of just go through the rest of these. Ho-Oh, don't really need. Oh, this is another Japanese card that I might want to get graded. That one will definitely be a maybe. Uh, these, not really, but Hinata, I definitely want to send one of these to get graded. So I had previously looked at all through all my Hinatas and these were the two, two that I pulled as being like the better ones. And I do remember, so yeah, this one has a little speck right here. So this one is probably gonna be the one that I don't send, let me just double check. Okay, no, that was actually on the top loader. So this one looks pretty good. But dang, I remember there was one that looked better than the other. And I don't remember which one it was. That one looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other one and see if I notice anything off the bat. Maybe I'll just send both of them in and we'll see which one comes back as a better grade. Oh, yeah. So that definitely has a dent right there, smack in the middle. So this one will not be sending in to get graded. We will be sending in the other one. Uh, so glad we found that. All right, guys, so wish me luck. We're sending in this sexy Hinata to get graded. I'm actually looking really forward to see what grade we get on this one. All right, and since we only have one Pokemon card submitted so far, let's quickly take a look at the condition on this one. Overall looks pretty good. So you know what, let's go ahead and submit this one to get graded too, because I actually do really like this card. I think it would be cool to get this one graded. So uh, that's gonna bring our total to 10 cards. Uh, Team Taka will have to wait to another time. I think I am pretty happy with the cards that I've selected here to get sent to get graded. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and then 10, which is just gonna be one that we're gonna be resending back to them. So, so it's unfortunate. The main one that I really wanted to send this time was this one, but I hadn't noticed the dent there on the forehead of Gengar. So uh, we're gonna wait on that one, but uh, wish me luck guys. Wish hopefully we get back mostly 10s on all of these that we're submitting. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What grades are we going to be getting in the comment section down below? Um, but yeah, guys, with that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys back when these come back to me and then we'll go through them and see if I was right or not. But um, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.